Hello dear student here we bring the new biology session right here we understand the cell the structural and the functional unit of life so in this chapter student will be able to learn what is cell discovery of cell cell theory prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell cell shape size and number structure of a typical cell cell organelles found in cytoplasm difference between a plant and an animal cell and the overview of the cell. now dear student here we understand what is a cell a cell is the structural and functional unit of living beings right now my dear student we understand the discovery of the cell the invention of microscope helped in the discovery of the cell the first microscope was constructed by the antony van leon hock it consists of a single by convex lens and was known as the simple microscope in this microscope the ipis was located close to the lens on one side while the object was mounted on the screw point on the opposite side of the lens some of the leon hock microscope could magnify object up to 200 times but later robert hook 6035 to 1703 developed a compound microscope by using two lenses for achieving greater magnification in such microscope the object to be seen was placed on a stage below and light coming from an oil flame was thrown on it by convex mirror cell were discovered by the robert hook in 1665 he studied a thin piece of cork under his microscope he observed that the cork piece had large number of the compartments joined together in a honeycomb like structure he named this compartment as cells latin it is cella that mean compartment in this way the cell discover correct student here we explain the cell theory and understand the cell theory the cell theory was formulated by the two german biologist one is the mj scleiden and the other t swan in the in the in between 1838 to 1839 the theory stated that number 1 in context of modern research the cell theory can be stated as follows number 1 cell is structural and functional unit of all living beings number 2 all living organism are composed of cell number 3 all new cell arise as a result of division of pre existing cell right student now number 4 is there all cells are basically alike in chemical composition and metabolic processes number 5 is here my dear student the function of an organism as a whole is the outcome of the combined activities and interaction of the constituent cell right student 
Now, my dear student, here we understand shape and size of the cell. Cell show a great variation in their shape. They may have spherical, oval, rectangular or the cylindrical in shape. In humans, the white blood cell present in the blood are irregular in shape. Muscle fibers are thin and long and skin cells are flat like tiles. The cells that conduct materials in plants are tube-like structure. In the given below, their diagram is there. The shows the different shape of the human cell is there. Cell also vary in size. The size of a cell in measure in a unit called the micron. One micron is equal to one by thousandth of a millimeter. The average size of cell ranges from 10 to 30 microns. The smallest cell in the human body are the red blood cells present in the blood. The size of the bacterial cells ranges from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 microns in diameter. The largest or longest are the nerve cells found in the neck of the giraffes can measure up to 3 meters. Right student? Okay. So, a large size of animals or plant are large cell. So, and large organisms do not have large cell. They only have more number of cell that is meat or fat. Right student? Hope you enjoy this class. Thank you for watching this class. Okay. So, please student, share this video, like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching the biology parts.